You have to get radical. Our Lord Jesus Christ, he turned over the money changers who turned his church into a den of thieves. When there's lies and injustice in the world, stand up against it, shine a light on it. That's the right thing to do. The right thing to do in this world is to follow God and not get up every day and say, what am I doing today? How am I conforming to the world? You have to get radical and go against that grain for one day in your life. Take the plunge, go down the rabbit hole. It's incredibly hard to figure out with God, all things are possible and he makes things clear. He takes your vision from this to this and only he can do that. It is amazing that I've seen it for myself and I'm sure you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, have seen this as well. Like all the intelligence and knowledge of the world and how men and women puff themselves up with ego and pride. And then once you learn the truth of the world, how the world is biblical, it's exactly like Genesis says, that's how creation is. And you know how I think the world is. It's no globe in space with outer space. That's a lie. The alien card. Remember War of the Worlds on the radio and everyone thought aliens were taking over the world and freaked out? Remember how we have all these movies about space and Star Trek and Star Wars, space travel, aliens, alien life form, contact. Ancient aliens on history television. His history. Like our, our history is not at all what they've told us. We have to get radical. And that doesn't mean like going out and breaking things or, you know, being, being stupid about things. It just means going, wait a minute. The emperor that's walking through the street here who's naked, he's naked. I'm going to say he's naked, even though everyone else thinks he's wearing imaginary invisible clothes. It's the emperor's new clothes. The emperor's naked. And we have to stand up and say, hey, the emperor's naked, everyone. And that's a metaphor for the world is biblical and Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the only way for salvation. There's no argument there. He's the truth. He's the wonderful truth. Think about this. I'm, I'm so glad and happy Jesus Christ is God and the truth. Don't you think everyone else would be happy? Oh, free salvation from God. Like it, you know, forgiveness of sins and being stupid in the world. Without God in our lives, we're stupid. Without God in my life, I was stupid. It's not an insult. It's the truth. It is so important today to have faith in Jesus Christ. If you don't have faith, please try. Have faith today. My brothers and sisters, you know we're going home soon. We're not staying in this world the way it is. God bless you, everyone.